sponsored these young ladies and helped contribute to our scholarship fund. Thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Alden, Board of Education, and to the, to the Stevens County High School administrative team for allowing us to put on tonight's show. Our contestants have had a long week of preparing for tonight's show. They have put in hours of practice and have completed an interview with the judges. This morning, in addition to tonight's opening number, casual wear, and evening gown competition. There are five awards in addition to our traditional pageant titles. First, there's Miss Congeniality Competition. This award, award will go to the contestant who was voted among her peers as having the best personality and being the most helpful and courteous throughout the week. Second is the Miss Indian Spirit Award. This title goes to the contestant who raised the most money in sponsors. This year, we have raised the most money ever for this award, and we are very thankful for the support of our community to provide the scholarship pageant for these young ladies. Third is Best Interview. Every contestant had a 10-minute interview with the judges earlier today. Afterward, the judges chose which contestant had the most solid answers and best overall interview. Fourth is Most Photogenic. The judges have selected one contestant who they think provided the best headshot for this competition. And last, we have the Miss Ont Young Entrepreneur Competition, sponsored and chosen by Dee Dee Airwood and Keller Williams. Each contestant had five questions to answer prior to the pageant regarding their future plans. This winner of the award will receive $100 cash and a trophy, as well as a financial consultation with Aaron Playstead with Edward K. Jones. We will also crown a Miss Freshman, Miss Sophomore, Miss Junior, Miss Senior, and Miss SCHS. The young lady who was crowned tonight for Miss SCHS for 2021 from the senior class will also receive a $1,000 scholarship. Thank you to Ch Tanya Chitwood, who will be our trusted MC for the evening and our inter intermission entertainment, which includes the RADC Ensemble performing three selections. Special thanks goes to Ryan Thomason, who is in charge of sound and lighting, to the Stevens County Hospital for all grade level and Miss SEHS winner's crowns, threads for the opening number t-shirts, the SEHS healthcare department for the sashes, the SEHS business department for the flags, audiovisual department supervised by Miss Three Tankersley for the videography for tonight, Please subscribe to the SCTV channel to view tonight's production and to Rhythm Academy Dance Company for creating and teaching the opening number, the SEHS Agricultural Department for the beautiful flowers, and to Pam Hill and LaDonna Bartman for the bouquets, Art Department for the stage decorations, David Barjar Photography and Intended Images Photography for tonight's photography coverage, and commercial printing for the programs. And finally, thank you to all our HOSA and FBLA members and volunteers who have helped tremendously to prepare for tonight's show. Without further ado, we'd like to hand the show over to Ms. Tanya Chitwood. Good evening, everyone. And um, I'm Tanya Chitwood, I'm the Chief Nursing Officer at Stevens County Hospital. And let me tell you first off, we want to thank you as our community for your love and support that you've shown our staff during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we are truly blessed to be in this community and have you guys supporting us. So we are happy to support this pageant tonight. I'm honored to be your MC for the seventh annual Miss Stevens County High School pageant. Thank you to each person here tonight that has supported this amazing group of young ladies. From reading their biographies, I can tell you that these young women are extraordinary and they're talented. You have all done a phenomenal job loving and supporting each of them. Tonight is going to be an exciting night for each of these lovely ladies. These memories will last for a lifetime. So sit back and enjoy tonight's pageant as we highlight these wonderful, beautiful, talented young ladies on our journey to crown your 2021 to Miss Stevens County High School. Everyone, please help me welcome our contestants as they bring you their opening number. Could we 
open the curtains, please. Give him a big round of applause. Beautiful young ladies up here, great competition. They're going to do a great job. Thank you, ladies. We are now ready to welcome your 2020 Miss Stevens County High School as she does her final walk as your queen. and was crowned Miss Stevens County High School. My year as Miss SCHS went a little different than I expected. Almost a month after I received my title, my senior year of high school came to an end far before it was supposed to, and the way we lived our lives changed completely. However, this situation only made me more proud to represent SCHS. This school and its members, both students and faculty, came together to persevere through the hard times more than I could have ever hoped. I am currently attending the University of Georgia and am studying sociology with a minor in criminal justice. When I graduate from UGA, I plan to attend law school to pursue a career as a criminal prosecutor. I am a member of Food to Kids, Student Government, UGA Miracle, and the tri to Sorority at UGA. These organizations have provided me with opportunities to expand my leadership and service skills during my time as Ms. SEHS. I would like to thank the Ms. Stevens County High School's pageant sponsors for my scholarship to help me achieve my education and career goals. Your contribution was such a tremendous help to me this year. I would also like to express my gratitude towards the faculty of SEHS for doing an excellent job at preparing me for the college curriculum. I know that college would have been a much harder transition for me if my teachers had not worked as hard as they did to prepare me for it. 
And finally, I would like to say how wonderful of an experience my four years of participating in this pageant has been. Being a part of this event taught me so much more than I expected. Confidence, public speaking skills, and most importantly, how to not fall on my face in a pair of heels. It also brought me new friends and brought me closer to people I already knew who participated. I genuinely believe I would not be the person I am today without Stevens County High School. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to represent an institution that brought me endless joy and lifelong memories that I will cherish forever. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your 2020 Miss Stevens County High School Queen, Miss Stephen Quinn. So we'll give the girls just a few minutes. Those freshmen are back there trying to get changed into their casual wear. And then we will welcome them back on the stage. I think I see our first contestant. I think we're ready. If you want to cue the music, we'll get started. Contestant number one tonight is Miss Grace Aniston Ellis. Gracie describes herself as strong, loyal, and independent. Gracie is a JV football cheer captain. She's on the varsity basketball cheerleader team, and she's also a competition cheerleader. She enjoys being a member of FFA and HOSA. She's also on the ladies' Indian tennis team. Gracie enjoys spending time with her friends, family, and her golden doodle Linux. She enjoys going new places and growing in her skills in tennis. Gracie's favorite thing is competition cheer and cheering with her friends at basketball games. An important role model in Gracie's life would have to be her sister, Cortland. She has shown incredible strength while enduring some challenging times. Cortland has demonstrated that no matter how hard things may seem, her battle may be long, the truth should always be spoken. She wants her to know that she's taught her to always be kind and to stand up for others. And Gracie strives to be like her every day. She loves her sister. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number one, Miss Grace Aniston Ellis. <laughs> contestant number two is Miss Cameron Hadaway. as loyal, determined, and genuine. She is an RADC dance company member for 12 years. She's on the junior varsity cheer team. And she's on the competition cheer squad. And she's a member of the Point Youth Group. Cameron enjoys cheering competitively, dancing, watching football, and spending time with her family. Her most important role model in her life is her mother. She's the strongest person that she knows, and she's the most selfless person, and she encourages her to grow in her relationship with God. This is contestant number two, Miss Cameron Hathaway. <laughs> contestant number three is Miss Tegan Jamison. <laughs> Tegan would describe herself as ambitious, independent and self-motivated. She has many extracurricular activities, including the marching band, the concert band, and jazz band. She's also extremely active in her FFA chapter. She's been in multiple musicals, from Frozen to Hairspray, and she also participates in a national gingerbread contest. She's done that for many years, and Tegan also has enjoyed mixed martial arts. Tegan's role model is Jesus Christ, and she knows this is an impossible goal, but what a better, there's no better standard than the best. 
for an example of selflessness, generosity, and she aspires to be the most loving soul she can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number three, Ms. Tegan Jameson. <laughs> Contestant number four is Miss Katarina Dong Lindsay. <laughs> Katarina describes herself as honest, kind hearted, and determined. Her extracurricular activities include participating in the SCHS Academic Quiz Bowl. Her hobbies include going to church, riding horses, bowling, and skating. In her free time, she likes to spend that time with her family and her friends. Her most important role model is her mother. Through thick and thin, good or bad, her mother has always and will always be there for her. She has shown Katarina that no matter what, keep trying to keep your head held high. Her mother has taught her that things will get tough, but still, you must keep going, never give up, and always do what's right, no matter what. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number four, Miss Katarina Dawn Lindsay. Contestant number five is Miss Sailor West Ott. <laughs> Sailor describes herself as responsible, non judgmental, and caring. She enjoys being on the competition dance team at Rhythm Academy Dance Company and cheering for the SCHS competition and varsity sideline cheer teams. She is a member of HOSA, the SCHS track team, Beta Club, and the student government. She is a part of the First Baptist Youth Group and is a member of the Youth Leadership Team, as well as the Youth Choir and Praise Band. She enjoys dancing and cheering. Sailor says her most important role model is Carson Bridges. Sailor and Carson grew up dancing together, and Carson was always someone Sailor could look up to for advice, encouragement, and direction. Carson's pers personal belief is to, to, to achieve her goals and dreams is one of the things that Sailor admires most about her. She's a God-fearing and driven person that, that Sailor strives to be like every day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number five, Miss Sailor West. <laughs> contestant number six is Miss Anna Grace Scott. <laughs> Anna Grace describes herself as strong, brave, and intelligent. She is on the track and field team, and she's a short distance runner. Anna Grace loves to babysit her family's dogs when they're away on vacations. She loves to spend time with her family and her friends, and her hobbies include going shopping and watching Indians football games. The very um, important role model in Miss Anna's life is her father. He has given her everything she could ever want and need, and he's always taught her that she can do anything she puts her mind to. She will forever be grateful for the things that her dad has fought so hard for her and to be able to experience. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number six is Miss Anna Grace Scott. <laughs> contestant number seven is Miss Ariel Hope Holbrooks. <laughs> Ariel describes herself as intelligent, compassionate, and enthusiastic. She is a member of the HOSA Club, Beta Club, Anchor Club, FBLA, SCHS Flag Auxiliary, and she's recently been invited to the National Honor Society. Ariel's hobbies include dancing, singing, playing the piano, traveling, horseback riding, photography, cosmetology, working out, and hanging out with her friends and attending Ebenezer Baptist Church. An important role model in Ariel's life is her mother. Her mother is very inspiring and caring. Her mother is always there for her and always knows the right answer. Her mother is very encouraging and never disappoints her. She is also pushing her to always achieve and do her best. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number seven, Miss Ariel Pepperis. <laughs> contestant number eight is Miss Chloe Jude. ambitious and loyal. Chloe is a varsity cheerleader. She's a member of the Beta and Anchor Club. She is an RADC company member, 
where she is on their competition dance team. She also participates in the First Baptist Youth Group. In her spare time, she enjoys dancing, binge watching Netflix, and eating at Los Amigos with her friend. Her important role model is her older sister, Hunter. Hunter has always shown Chloe that no matter what the world may throw at you, focus on the Lord and everything else will be fine. She is the strongest and most loving person that you will ever meet, and Chloe is so blessed that God gave Hunter to her. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number eight, Miss Chloe G. Gay. Contestant number nine is Miss Emily Kiesler. Emily describes herself as considerate, unique, and passionate. She is involved in Silk Corps at the SCHS Auxiliary Team, Malt Trial, Chick fil A's Leadership Academy, Beta Club, and Anchor Club. She will also serve as the Vice President of FBLA and has recently received an invitation to the National Honor Society. An important role model in Emily's life is her mom. Her mom's always inspired her that even though all, even through all of their arguments, Emily's mom always does everything she can for her family and is always helpful in every situation. And Emily aspires to be just like her mom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number nine, Miss Emily Kiesler. <laughs> contestant number 10 is Miss Harper Leakroy. describes herself as empathetic, fair, and open-minded. She's involved in the Beta Club, the Anchor Club, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the Spirit Cheerleading Program, and a member of the Varsity Cheerleading Competition Team, and she's a member of the golf team. She's also been invited to the National Honor Society. Harper enjoys working with kids and being active in her youth group at First Baptist Church. Harper looks up to her older sister, Chandler. She's often questioned whether or not Chandler's her mom, since she was and still is the person she runs to when she needs help. She admires Chandler and hopes to be the type of person that Chandler is on a daily basis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 10, Ms. Harper Leacoy. <laughs> contestant number 11 is Ms. Kiera Reza Lopez. Describes herself as selfless, outgoing, and kind. She's involved in volleyball, basketball, raiders, soccer, track, beta club, and anchor club. Her hobbies include spending time with her dogs and playing basketball, going on trail rides with her family, and finding new things to try when she's bored at home. Her role model that she looks up to is her brother, Chaston. He encourages her to be a better person, and he pushes Kira to never give up on her goals in life. And she has done just that. She's on the honor roll, wins presidential awards in the JROTC, and third place in Raiders. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 11, Ms. Kiera Grisa Lopez. <laughs> contestant number 12 is Ms. Isabella A. <laughs> Bella describes herself as adventurous, ambitious, and caring. She is an avid member of the SCHS News Group, where she's a reporter, editor, and anchor. She volunteers to teach Boy Scouts how to scuba dive, and she partakes in volunteer underwater lake cleanups. Bella also fosters animals for the Stevens County Humane Shelter and is a member of HOSA. She enjoys spending all of her free time underwater. Her biggest role model is Ms. Kangersley. Due to her unfailing support of her students and her bravery to build a comprehensive media pathway, from the ground up. Bella says that this pathway has encouraged her to try something new and exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 12, Miss Isabella A. <laughs> contestant number 13 is Zaria Carter. Zaria describes herself as outgoing, athletic, dependable, and caring. Zaria loves to help people. She's a member of the Beta Club, Anchor Club, HOSA, National Honor Society, soccer, volleyball, 
and she helps the youth at her church, and she also helps her grandmother with caring for disabled people on the weekends. She loves to sing and dance and spend time with her family. Her role model is her grandmother because she's a go-getter and loves to keep people. She takes in kids when they have nowhere to go and she tries to help them get on track. She's always there to listen to anybody's problems and never fails to give them the right advice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 13, Ms. Zaria Carvin. Contestant number 14 is Ms. Zayla Jane Coleman. Zayla describes herself as self-driven, independent, and charismatic. In the past year, she's been involved in sports and cheer, and then participated in Skills USA. But now she's taken a strong liking to the film industry and is actively involved in the programs at school. She enjoys hanging out with her friends and having random photo sheets, shoots, and anything that can further her career as a news anchor. Zayla's role models are her whole family because they taught her the values to live by, they have supported her and encouraged her to pursue her dreams while challenging her to be the best version of herself. She would not be who she is today without their love and their guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 14, Ms. Zayla Jane Coleman. Contestant number 15 is Ms. Hazel Collier. Hazel describes herself as independent, ethical, and ambitious. Hazel is involved in Anchor Club, Beta Club, National Honor Society, Mock Trial Team, Lake Burton YMCA Counseling Program, Varsity Soccer, and Varsity Cheerleaders. Her interests and hobbies include watching Jeopardy, completing puzzles, skiing with her family, mispronouncing words, indulging in cheesy fries, and crashing into ocean waves. She enjoys going on trips to Disney and drinking Shirley Temples, surfing the way, and recently practicing SAT questions. Hazel's role model is the queen herself, Miss Dolly Parton. Miss Dolly inspired, inspired Hazel to participate in the pageant through her Netflix original Dumpling. She stayed in touch with her roots while growing as a person. Dolly is sassy, compassionate, generous, positive, and downright talented. During this complicated time, Dolly has donated millions of dollars to the Moderna vaccine, and she's truly a diamond in a rhinestone world. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 15, Hazel Caldwell. Contestant number 16 is Miss Katie Grace Randall. <laughs> Katie Grace describes herself as compassionate, genuine, and committed. She's been a member of the SCHS varsity golf team, varsity spirit cheer, and competition teams since her freshman year. She also plays competitive golf. She's an intern with a physical therapy specialist and is a member of SCA, Beta Club, Anchor Club, and the National Honor Society. She is also a proud volunteer for the Tacoa Symphony Orchestra. She's a loyal member of Ebenezer Baptist Church and is involved in many numerous youth activities year round. Katie's role, Katie Grace's role model is her grandma, Gail Power, because she's such a strong and dedicated woman. It's her grandmother that taught Katie Grace that in life you must keep going even though things do not go as planned. And she's always there to help her and give her the best advice. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 16 is Katie Grace Randall. <laughs> contestant number 17 is Miss Brayden Williams. <laughs> Brayden would describe herself as witty, outgoing, and spontaneous. She's a varsity basketball cheerleader and is involved in beta club, Anchor Club, Spanish Club, and Art Club. Brayden works at the Clary Center sitting with the elderly. In her free time, she enjoys making memories with her loved ones, eating, and spending all of her money. She also enjoys learning new skills like uh, crocheting, playing the piano, and acquiring a new language. She loves to paint and draw. She likes to know a little bit of something about everything. An important role model in Brayden's life is her mother. Her mom is behind her in everything she does and guides her through the worst time. She is her best friend, and she feels that she can tell her anything, and Brayden aspires to be like her mother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 17, Miss Brayden Williams. <laughs> contestant 
Contestant number 18 is Miss Madeline Page Austin. <laughs> Madeline describes herself as charismatic, fun-loving, and diligent. She's a member of the Stevens County Sports Medicine as a student trainer, editor and sports broadcaster for Stevens County News, and participated in mock trial. Outside of school, Madeline is a certified nursing assistant for Habersham Medical, where she works alongside nurses caring and providing for residents at the Habersham Nursing Home. She enjoys reporting packages for Stevens County's weekly newscasts and talking and building relationships with the residents of Habersham Home. Madeline's uh, role model is Ms. Tankersley, who has been a prominent role, who has taken a prominent role in her time at Stevens County. Madeline has learned so much from Ms. Tankersley, whether she was teaching her new skills in audio or video tech, or privately guiding her through faith. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 18, Miss Madeline Page Austin. <laughs> contestant number 19 is Miss Savannah Faith Ayers. <laughs> Savannah decided, describes herself as creative, quirky, and genuine. She's involved in SCHS volleyball and soccer teams, the USA Skills Program, and the English Club. Savannah enjoys doing hair and nails in her free time, and she gives manicures to her friends, and she colors her mom's hair. And she loves creating unique hairstyles while in cosmetology class. Her number one role model would be the Lord Jesus Christ. He leads her and guides her to be more Christ-like every day. Savannah puts her faith in him, and her life is in his hands. She wants her will his will, not her will, to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 19, Miss Savannah Faith Ayers. <laughs> contestant number 20 is Miss Portland Gray Ellis. <laughs> Portland describes herself as forgiving, quirky, and dedicated. She's involved in the SCHS Auxiliary Corps, HOSA, and the SCHS Lady Media Varsity Soccer. She loves singing, swimming, playing soccer, helping in her community, and dancing with her friends and drinking coffee. Portland's role model is Queen Victoria because during a time when women in leadership roles were looked down upon, she was able to read with grace and sophistication. She was a queen who valued her people and reigned with compassion. During this time, she was also able to become a mother to nine children and maintain a relationship with her husband. Portland is inspired by her perseverance, determination, and leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 20 is Portland Gray Ellis. <laughs> contestant number 21 is Miss Lacey Jane Fletcher. Lacey would describe herself as outgoing, kind, and humble. She's a proud member of the senior class and a varsity SCHS cheerleader for the last four years. She loves cheering, dancing, traveling to new places, playing board games, going to the lake, sleeping in lake, shopping, eating. She loves all types of music, doing hair and makeup, and enjoys spending time with her family and friends. Lacey Jane's role model would have to be her nanny Jane. She always encourages her to be the best in whatever she attempts to do. She's beautiful and kind to all, and always tells her, pretty is as pretty does. Not only is she a positive role model for Lacey Jane, but she has touched so many other family and friends as well. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 21, Miss Lacey Jane Fletcher. Contestant number 22 is Miss Madison Aubrey Frazier Tarkley. Yeah! Madison will describe herself as dedicated, loyal, and driven. She's, in, she's an SCHS varsity cheerleader. She's an RADC dance company with competition dance, ensemble, musical theater. She's also in FBLA, FFA. She teaches preschool gymnastics and auxiliary classes, all while working in a vet clinic and working out at the gym. Aubrey's role model is her nanny, her maternal grandmother. Aubrey says her nanny is so much more than a grandmother. She's her best friend, her partner in crime, her biggest cheerleader, and her secret keeper. 
She credits her mommy for teaching her the values in life. This is contestant number 22, Miss Madison Aubrey Frazier Tarkin. <laughs> Contestant number 23 is Miss Emma Elaine Hopper. <laughs> Emma describes herself as bubbly, ambitious, and big hearted. She's involved in the girls' varsity golf, tri mock trial, debate club, anchor club, beta club, and the National Honor Society. Emma's hobbies and interests include crafting, sewing, reading. She's developed her own small business. She enjoys working out, and she loves caring for young children. An important role model in Emma's life is her Mimi, Joyce Jamison. Emma says that her Mimi focuses on turning every negative into a positive, and she always looks out for others before herself. She is a humble Christian role model, and Emma hopes to share all of these qualities with her and be just like her, just like they share a middle name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 23, Miss Emma Elaine Hopper. Contestant number 24 is Miss Sarah Samuela. <laughs> Sarah describes herself as charismatic, energetic, dedicated, and an extrovert. She is a Ready for Life Georgia 4 H ambassador, and she is also the 19, 2019 State Officer for the Georgia 4 H. She is a member of the Anchor Club, the Beta Club, Spanish Club, Tosa, Mock Trial, and the Ladies Indian Volleyball and Soccer. And she's also the president for Skills USA. An important role model for Miss Sarah would have to be Amanda Gorman. She's a young woman of color, has been empowered to step out of her comfort zone to represent young women everywhere. She reminds her that as a young black girl thriving for success, being that voice for young women to be heard, and Sarah wants to set an example for all young women, which can be accepted for all young women. This is contestant number 24, Ms. Sarah Samuela Isaac. <laughs> contestant number 25 is Ms. Joanna Lowry. Joanna describes herself as an introspective, compassionate, and creative. She's an auxiliary captain for the SEHS Flag Corps. She's also involved with the Piedmont College Conservatory of Music Orchestra and Cello Chamber Group. She's in the president, uh, vice president of the National Honor Society, the parliamentary of the Anchor Club, and is a proud member of the Beta Club and Art Club. An important role model in Joanna's life is her mother, Beth Lowry. Her mother has helped her become the young woman she is today through her faith, compassion, and un unending love. Joanna is and will always be grateful for her mother's patience, kindness, and guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 25 is Joanna Lowry. <laughs> contestant number 26 is Ms. Madison Miller. is sociable, ambitious, and compassionate. She's been involved in service club. She's been an ambassador at Tallulah Falls in the Junior Reds Club, FCA, and has served as a basketball manager for two years. She spends her time volunteering, tutoring, and working out, and with family and friends. The most important role model in Madison's life would have to be her grandpa. There's not enough time in the world to explain how he has emboldened her life. Her grandpa lived on the street since he was a kid with no family after running away from the foster system. He took his hardships and turned his life around and gave his wife and kids the perfect life. She's inspired to be more like him every day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 26, Miss Madison. Woo! Contestant number 27 is Miss Emma Catherine Moon. <laughs> Emma would describe herself as happy, intelligent, and responsible. She's a proud member of the SEHS Auxiliary and the SEHS Indian Dance Team. She's also involved in many clubs, including Anchor Club, Beta Club, of which she is Vice President, the National Honor Society, Student Government, 
the Nicoa Stevens County Youth Leadership Program. An important role model in Emma's life is her mother, Julie. Julie is by far the most caring and hardworking person Emma knows. She has given Emma more than she can have ever asked for, and she will forever be grateful for her mother's unconditional love. Emma would like to thank her mother for being her number one supporter in all that she pursues. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 27 is Emma Catherine Emma. Contestant number 28 is Miss Kenzie Abigail Quick. Kenzie describes herself as outgoing, spunky, and determined. She's a proud member of the Stevens County High School Auxiliary, where she serves as Majorette Captain. She's also co-captain of the SEHS Indian Dance Competition Dance Team. She is a member of the National Honor Society, the Anchor Club, Beta Club, COSA, FBLA, Student Government, and the Dakota Stevens County there are many important uh, people that are role models in Kenzie's life, but her mom would be the most influential. Kenzie describes her mom as a hard-working, stubborn, but loving and kind-hearted. She is proud to say that her mom will be retiring after 30 years of teaching at the end of this school year, and along with her entire family, she has supported Kenzie, cheered her on, given her advice, and loves her unconditionally. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 28, Miss Kenzie Abigail Quick. Contestant number 29 is Miss Samara Rose Samara will describe herself as a gracious, powerful, and brilliant. She's involved in softball and track, and she's the president of the Anchor Club, also a member of the National Honor Society, the Beta Club, COSA, FBLA, and FCA. In her spare time, she helps neighbors for neighbors with their food drives. Her hobbies include music and reading and working out and photography. She plans to become a behavioral analysis for the FBI. A role model in her life is her mother, Michelle Carter. Michelle, other than her mother, sorry, other than her mother, Michelle Carter, uh, her role model would be Michelle Carter, who is a current women's Olympic champion for shot fit. She was the first U.S. woman to win gold in shot fit. Samara admires her strength and her confidence, not only as an athlete, but as a woman of color. Samara realizes that she wants to compete in the Olympics and follow in her footsteps. This is contestant number 29, Miss Samara Grace Walker. As you can tell tonight, just as I said, this is a group of 29 beautiful, talented, and very intelligent young women that's competing for the crown tonight. <laughs> All right, so we're, I think we're ready. We're gonna swing right on into the formal competition. So let's welcome back Miss Grace Aniston Ellis, contestant number one. because it would be a privilege and honor to represent her, her class. Gracie would be an outstanding role model, leading by example, and demonstrating how to be a good student and member of the community. For Gracie, being an SEHS Indian means finding your place and making new friends. She believes that being an Indian is knowing that no matter where life may take you, that you will always have a home and a tribe cheering you on each step of the way. Gracie is honored for the opportunity to be sharing the stage with such a remarkable group of young ladies. She wishes them all the best tonight and wants them to shine bright. Her ambition when she graduates high school is to go to college and earn her degree as a dental hygienist. While working in that profession to brighten the world one smile at a time, she would like to go back to school and become an ag teacher. She loves fashion and her closet is proof. She doesn't have room to accommodate her grown wardrobe, and she has a shoe collection of 50 plus pairs. Gracie has a beautiful black golden doodle named Lennox, who has her own Instagram account. <laughs> Gracie wants to um, enjoy spending her time with her family and friends, and she loves competition cheer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number one, 
Miss Grace Aniston Ellis. Contestant number two is Miss Cameron Hadaway. Cameron hopes to attend Clemson University and aspires to become a neonatal nurse. An interesting fact about Cameron is that her eyes change colors and she is obsessed with college football. And she also has a religious faith in the Lord's eyes. She feels that she would serve as a good role model as Miss Freshman to other people because she is a good, saint, good example to be around. She believes that being an SCHS Indian means cheering on the home team on Friday nights, making new friends, and getting involved in clubs and working hard to get good grades. She's a member of the RADC Dance Company and the Varsity Cheer Team where she enjoys spending time with her family and her friends. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number two, Miss Cameron Hathaway. <laughs> contestant number three is Miss Tegan Jameson. <laughs> Tegan feels that she should be Miss Freshman because she represents the best aspects of our country, county, and school, a deep agricultural foundation, a healthy sense of competition, and a desire to succeed with solid academics and a vision for progress and for her own future as well as the future of her school and her community. When asked what does it mean to be an SCHA Indian, she responded with, I am a legacy Indian and I'm proud to say that I am the sixth generational Jameson to be wearing red and black by attending Stevens County High School. Tegan would tell you that if you would like to know something about her, that she can field dress a deer, she delivers a great speech, she's a model, and she provides an impressive roundhouse kick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number three, Miss Tegan Jameson. Contestant number four is Miss Katarina Dawn Lindsay. <laughs> Katarina believes that she should be awarded the title of Miss Freshman because it would be an honor to be a positive role model to any upcoming freshman. She wants all younger girls to know that you can do anything and be anything you wish to be no matter what. Even when things get tough, remember every situation has a silver lining. To Katarina, being an SCHS Indian means being part of something and not having to go through any life experiences alone, meaning someone will always be there to push you and to get you to try harder. It also means never giving up when things get tough and never being afraid of failure. This is contestant number four, Miss Katarina Dawn Lindsay. Contestant number five is Miss Sailor West Ott. Yeah, yes, Sailor. Yes, she should be Miss Freshman because she values character and integrity inside and outside of school. She tried, strives to be an example that teachers, staff, and students alike are proud of and respect. Being Miss Freshman goes hand in hand with being a leader, and Sailor believes a leader is someone who lives in accordance with their deepest values, is honest to everyone, and keeps their word. She personally always strives to possess these qualities each and every day. Sailor would like to take this opportunity to honor her Savior, Jesus Christ. Sailor was provided with a chance to go to Mexico during the summer of 2019, and it was truly life-changing. She was able to complete ministry work in the form of building a home for a mother and her son. She was also able to spend time with the family each day, and that experience allowed her to realize how truly blessed she is to live in America. She hopes to return and give back again one day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number five, Miss Sailor West.
contestant number six is Miss Anna Grace Scott. Anna Grace believes that she should be Miss SCHS because she, she would be we're very grateful to become a positive leader and a role model to other students. Anna Grace thinks that being an SCHS Indian means that you show your school spirit no matter what, but make sure you bring all of that spirit to and all the supporting to all the supporting sports events. She also thinks that it means to make sure to be a good influence in and out of school and to always be on your best behavior. Anna Grace is very grateful to have such an amazing opportunity to be able to participate in the Miss SCHS pageant this year and being able to enjoy an amazing experience with an amazing group of young ladies. She's beyond thankful for her sponsors who made this possible for her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number six, Miss Anna Grace Scott. Contestant number seven is Miss Ariel Pope Holbrooks. <laughs> Ariel believes that it would be a great opportunity to be Miss Sophomore and be a positive leader for her classmates. She says it's a great opportunity and something great to look back on in her life and thank herself for pushing herself outside of her shell. She says being an SCHS Indian to her is achieving new goals and always having a great time. Every day in ACHS to Ariel is a new day to either achieve something new or build on her goals. She is very proud to say that she goes to a school that supports her and pushes her to achieve her goals every day. She says she is so happy to be a part of something very inspiring and fun, and she would like to say thank you for taking time to be here for this beautiful girl and this beautiful night. Her favorite Bible verse is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Proverbs 3.5. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number seven, Ms. Ariel Colbrooks. <laughs> contestant number eight is Ms. Chloe G. Day. <laughs> Chloe feels that she should be Ms. Sophomore because she's an example of being a friend to everyone and continues to strive to always be positive in every situation. She says that being an SCHS Indian means taking pride in your school, in your friendships, the faculty, and our county. Chloe feels blessed to be a part of this community and school, and she truly takes pride in being an SCHS Indian. She says when we say go Indians, it is for every student in this school and for all of us to strive to be the best we can be. So go Indians. Chloe is not only a student at RADC, but she's also helps teach younger students in hip hop, cheer, and gymnastics. She loves sharing her love for dance with others. Chloe is also an ambassador for traveling tutus, where they send dance costumes and shoes to underprivileged communities around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number eight, Miss Chloe. Contestant number nine is Miss Emily Kiesler. <laughs> Emily strongly believes that you should always be yourself and not feel obligated to put yourself into a certain category or group. She chooses to live her life not based on what the world thinks she should be, but what she herself wants to be. She hopes to encourage others to do the same should she be chosen for the title of Miss Sophomore. To Emily, when you're in high school, you should make unforgettable memories and lifelong friendships. Being an SCHS Indian means to take pride in your school and always support everyone on your team. She's very outgoing and she's brave and she uh, loves her family and loves to spend time with them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number nine, Miss Emily Beasley. Contestant number 
10 is Miss Harper Fleetwood. Harper would be grateful to earn the title of Miss Sophomore, but her main intention was to break out of her comfort zone and try something new tonight. Harper is eager to continue this theme throughout the remainder of her high school years. Being an SCH Indian is more than just a mascot. It means that one takes pride and strives for greatness in their academics and their extracurricular activities in a way that everyone that comes in contact with her realizes. Harper would like to let her classmates know that she is grateful for all of the memories she's made so far and that she cannot wait to continue to make them. She'd also like to thank the judges for not, tonight for taking their time out of their busy schedules to participate in this SCHS pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 10, Ms. Harper Lee Coyle. <laughs> contestant number 11 is Ms. Kiera Riza Lopez. <laughs> Kiera thinks it would be an amazing experience to win this sophomore. Being an SCHS Indian, Takira means that you are devoted and proud to live in this county, and she thinks that being an Indian means being strong and dedicated. She enjoys being outside, spending quality time with her family and her friends. She enjoys fashion and putting cute outfits together. She also enjoys fishing and TV here in the summertime. She likes to eat oranges while watching YouTube. She's a very talkative person, and she's a caring person, and she enjoys making people's day and trying to make them happy. She enjoys drinking Gatorade, especially the red ones. And Kara would one day like to run for president and become the first woman president of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 11, Ms. Kiara Frieza Lopez. Contestant number 12 is Miss Isabella A. <laughs> Bella feels like she should be crowned Miss Junior because she always tries to promote a positive attitude. She has also proved that no matter if you come from halfway across the world like her, or you just move from the next, next county over, you can always find success and friendships at SCHS. Being an SCHS Indian means to Bella is that she's a part of a community that often feels like family. It's a place of safety and opportunity. It means always pushing herself to be the most successful person she could be. Her ambition in life is to continue in her love for news and go to college to study meteorology and communications. She then hopes to be a successful news anchor, also while continuing to work towards supporting children to experience scuba diving and the wonders of marine life. An interesting fact about Bella is she took part in the tradition of running the Olympic torch in 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 12, Ms. Isabella A. Contestant number 13 is Ms. Zieria Carvin. <laughs> Zaria thinks she should be Miss Junior because she's compassionate and she knows what it takes to represent the junior class. Zaria thinks being an SCHFN takes courage, knowledge, and gratitude. Being an SCH Indian is not only about the sports, but about the academics too. She's already, SCHS has already helped Zaria start planning her future for college in 11th grade. She couldn't be more grateful for all they have done to help her plan for her future. Sierra also received a certificate of dual enrollment in early childhood education, and she's been shadowing in Stevens County Hospital. This is contestant number 13, Zaria Carvin. Contestant number 14 
Queen is Mrs. Zayla Jane Coleman. <laughs> Zayla feels she should be Miss Junior because she's an extremely hardworking individual who goes out of her way to make others realize their worth in this world. Zayla says being an SCHS Indian means being strong and devoted. It means waking up every day ready and to prepare herself for the future while taking on any challenges life presents her with. Her ambition in life is to attend college to study broadcasting and journalism communications to help her one day fulfill her dream of becoming a news anchor. She would also like to provide a wonderful wife and happiness to a family of her own one day. An interesting fact about Zayla is she's adopted, she's scared of birds, and she's never afraid to share her opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 14, Miss Zayla Jane Coleman. Contestant number 15 is Miss Hazel Hollier. <laughs> Hazel feels she would be an excellent candidate for the title of Miss Junior because she is devoted to helping the community and those around her. Hazel deals with responsibility well and would be honored to be Miss Junior. As an SCHS Indian, Hazel feels that means walking down the halls and smelling the familiar scent, smiling at peers as they pass, and helping out classmates. Being an Indian is much more than just coming to school every day. It is being kind, gracious, and helpful. Her high school is about growing as a person and as a student. And for the four short years, she is determined she's gonna find out what she wants to do with her life, but also she would like to live as a person. Hazel, so when you ask Hazel, what is it like, what does she feel like it's like to be an SCHS Indian? She says the short answer is being an SCH Indian to her is unity, perseverance, and hope for a future. She also says that everything she does, that these are not the things that make me, she said the good and the ugly make me who I am today. My flaws do not define me, but nor do my perfections. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 15, Hazel Collier. <laughs> contestant number 16 is Miss Katie Grace Randall. <laughs> Katie Grace feels she should be Miss Jean because she values the need to foster self-confidence in young women. With this title, she would like to help others feel more confident and to be able to promote their very best self in their school and their community. Being able to communicate through an interviews and poise can help all students succeed in personal and community values. All women deserve this blessing. What does it mean to be an SCH Indian to Katie? She says it's embracing the spirit and school pride and everything important to her. Participating in the activities that make her an Indian and building an SCHS Indian bond to share with her friends and family is precious. Being an Indian means caring about the school, the community, and people that make this community great. An SCHS Indian has pride in her school and the educational opportunities that she has given. And Katie Grace is proud to be an Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 16, Miss Katie Grace Randall. <laughs> contestant number 17 is Miss Brayden Williams. Brayden feels that she would represent Miss Junior very well because she has a kind soul and can relate to anyone. She loves talking to people and sharing her opinions while also listening to others. Being an Indian to Brayden means always having support 
whether it be from a teacher or a peer. She can always count on someone to help her when she is in need. If Braden could achieve anything before graduating, it would be to maintain a positive attitude throughout her high school career and hopefully share it with others who are in need of optimism. Braden's ambition in life is to become a dermatologist. She wants to buy her dream house big enough to fit all of her kids in her golden noodles. She loves to eat anything high in sugar and carbs and would describe herself as being a chocoholic. Brayden has also been dancing for 12 years. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 17, Miss Brayden Williams. Contestant number 18 is Miss Madeline Page Austin. Madeline says that she believes she would be a good candidate for Miss SCHS because of the strong role models she could be to young girls. She is a strong member of the community, constantly working hard and giving back. Madeline is also dedicated to serving the Lord and will always be an advocate for His Word. She believes these are qualities of, of a proficient role model. Being a Stevens County Indian means more to Madeline than it might to most. Madeline was born and raised in Dakota, but after leaving Stevens County at a young age, and moving back from school to school, she is very happy to be back home and graduating where much of her family did in the past. Madeline has attended three different high schools and she has lettered in sports medicine all four years of her schooling. She's received an award for AP Excellence and she's been invited into the National Honor Society. She's also lettered in girls flag football. An interesting fact about her is that she has 14 siblings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 18, Miss Madeline Page Austin. Contestant number 19 is Miss Savannah Baby Harris. takes her final step in her senior year, Savannah would say being an SCH Indian shows how you represent your school and your community with respect, responsibility, and leadership. Her fellow students have shown her what it means to be a true Indian. So once an Indian, always an Indian. Savannah also sees the good in people when others struggle to see it in themselves, and she strives to help others to realize their potential. Her ambition in life is become a master cosmetologist. She strives to take her responsibilities to the next level and give her clients a look to die for. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 19, Miss Savannah Bay Ayers. Contestant number 20 is Miss Portland Gray Ellis. Portland feels she should be Miss Senior or Miss SEHS because she would be privileged to represent her fellow peers. Portland hopes to demonstrate that even though she may have struggles in the classroom due to narcolepsy, she can achieve any goal that she sets her hard work and determination to, thus hopefully helping others who may struggle with disabilities. She wants everyone to know it doesn't define you. Portland feels she will represent the title and all it stands for very well. To Portland, being an SCHS Indian means being a part of something great. It's Friday nights under the lights, bus rides to games, and pep rally fun. It's cramming for tests and late night homework. It's early morning announcements reminding us how capable we are of greatness. But above all, being an Indian is always knowing that no matter where life takes you, that you will always have a place to call home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 20, Miss Portland Gray Ellis. <laughs> contestant number 21 is 
Miss Lacey Jane Fletcher. <laughs> Lacey Jane feels she should be Miss Senior or Miss SDHS because she would represent her school and community in a very positive way. She would have a humble heart of excitement and would be a positive role model for the upcoming girls. To Lacey Jane, being an SCHS Indian means being a part of the tribe, not just showing pride at school, but in our community. There's nothing that makes her prouder than being an Indian of this beautiful community and the reservation here at Stevens County High School. Her ambition in life is to be the best that she can be. She plans to attend college to study to become a registered nurse or an ultrasound tech. Her desire is to help others. Whatever she does, she hopes to always do her best. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 21, Miss Lacey Jane Fletcher. <laughs> contestant number 22 is Madison Aubrey Frazier Tarpley. <laughs> Aubrey believes that she would be a great senior representative for Miss SCHS because she embodies school spirit, hard work, professionalism, poise, and grace. To Aubrey, being an SCHS Indian means carrying herself in a manner that always represents her school in the highest regards. It means cheering on Friday nights and on the court. It means being the best in the classroom and outside. It means working to build and maintain a legacy at SEHS that excites and empowers the younger generations to continue to work hard and look forward to their time at SEHS too. Aubrey is dedicated, determined, driven, she's a hard worker, and a go-getter. She is known most for her insanely busy schedule on being successful in everything she puts her mind to. Above all, Aubrey strives to make her family proud in everything she does while serving as a positive role model to her siblings. She is looking forward to the next chapter at the University of Georgia, where she looks forward to eventually being on the same alumni wall as her mom and dad. Go dogs! This is contestant number 22, Ms. Madison Aubrey, Frazier Park. Contestant number 23 is Miss Emma Elaine Hopper. <laughs> Emma says that if she is chosen for Miss Senior or Miss SEHS, she will strive to be a good role model for younger girls. She says that through her work with children, she has realized the importance of strong role models for growing minds. She will use this title to show that a true queen's beauty comes from the heart. To Emma, being an SCHS Indian means pushing herself every day to be the best that she can be. She says that her last four years at SCHS have given her the opportunity to grow, both as an individual and as a member of the community. She says that the pride of being an SCHS Indian is something that she will carry with her when she leaves the halls of SCHS. Her ambition in life is to become a pediatric psychiatrist to help children and teens work through their problems. She wants to help them understand that they are loved, important, and uniquely perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 23, Emma Elaine Hopper. <laughs> contestant number 24, it's Miss Sarah Samuela Isaac. <laughs> Sarah says it would be an honor to be Miss Senior or Miss SCHS to represent her peers, her community, and her school. She wants to empower as many young women to think and speak out about their future dreams so that the community has an opportunity and can help everyone achieve their goals. Being an SCHS Indian means so many things to her. It means showing younger kids what being an Indian is all about by showing dedication, thriving to be the best version of you, and also remember to live in the moments and cherish the memories. 
because we are all one big Catholic family that stand up for each other. As she takes her last steps of senior year, she can say she definitely embraces what it truly means to be an SCHS Indian. Once an Indian, always an Indian. A powerful quote to Sarah was made by Dalai Lama and that stated, with realization of one's own potential and self-confident in one's ability, one can build a better world. Suggesting that the key to the meaning of life is to find your purpose and use it positively to impact the rest of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 24, Miss Sarah Samuela Otzi. Contestant number 25 is Miss Joanna Lowry. <laughs> Joanna believes that it would be an honor to represent her school as Miss SCHS or Miss Senior because of the influence Stevens County High School has had on her academically, socially, and motivationally. The educational foundation she has developed at the school has allowed her to exceed expectations and go outside of her comfort zone. She has made some incredible friends, and she has had encouraging teachers that have pushed her to do her very best. To Joanna, being an SCHS Indian means being proud to attend a beautiful school with teachers and coaches that care about her success as a student and as a human being. Joanna's ambition in life is to own and manage a music production company after getting a, business, a music business degree from Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. Joanna also works with Echo Productions in writing and recording musical artist songs. And her favorite show is Fun Five Square Dance. This is contestant number 25, Miss Joanna Lowry. <laughs> contestant number 26 is Miss Madison Miller. She should be Miss SCHS or Miss Senior because she is a perfect representation of the community. She is known for being a kind student with a sweet soul. She is also there for her peers and is looked up to by her fellow students, which are key qualities needed to be Miss SCHS. Madison says that being an SCHS Indian means being part of a family. She says being an Indian means being part of the community that grows learns, and loves together. She is beyond excited for this experience and cannot wait to walk the stage with the amazing group of girls who wants to thank Miss Smith and Miss Hemphill for putting this beautiful event together. Her ambition in life is to have one of the most successful real estate agencies in America and to use her wealth to help kids in the foster care system. An interesting fact about Madison would be she spends her summers waitressing and professionally modeling on the lake and she loves to go camping and fishing with her family. She also loves to help her boyfriend out on his farm. She has gone to upwards of 20 country music concerts including the AMC Country Music Awards in Las Vegas. This is contestant number 26, Miss Madison Miller. Contestant number 27 is Miss Emma Catherine Moon. <laughs> Emma is a good role model for others by taking pride in her academics, showing Indian spirit by being involved in extracurricular activities, and by always being kind and respectful to others. She would hold the title of Miss SCHS or Miss Senior with dignity and respect it deserves. To Emma, being an SCHS Indian means that she is part of a community that strives to work together to provide a safe and supportive environment for her and her classmates. She feels that she is part of a school that encourages everyone to achieve their goals. She is so very proud to be an SCHS Indian. Emma's ambition is to graduate high school with a 4.0 GPA 
and after high school, she hopes to attend the University of Georgia to pursue a career in pediatric immuno immunology so she can help kids with similar health issues as herself. Interesting fact about Emma is she can wiggle her ears and she loves eating at Chick-fil-A. She has the cutest puppy in the world named Luna. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 27, Miss Emma Catherine Moon. Contestant number 28 is Miss Kenzie Abigail Ware. Kenzie says that she's privileged to be a part of the Miss SCHS pageant, and she feels that winning Miss SCHS or Miss Senior would definitely have a positive impact on her. She would gain self-confidence. She feels that she would represent the total world. To Kenzie, being an SCHS Indian means being part of a family tribe of friends who supports one another and works together as a team. Performing together under the Friday Night Lights and competing with the Indianettes are the highlights of showing personal spirit. Some interesting facts about Kenzie are her favorite television show is Law and & Order at SVU. And by the way, she's watched every single episode. Her dream vacation is to travel to Hawaii after graduation and she enjoys going to Chick-fil-A and eat grilled wraps and visit her favorite worker there, her boyfriend, Chandler. Her ambition in life is graduating high school and attending the college of her choice. She wants to pursue, pursue a degree in communication sciences and disorders and become a licensed speech and language pathologist. She hopes to one day get married and have a family of her own. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 28, Miss Kenzie Abigail. or Miss Senior because she embodies the characteristics that would best reflect the school. She is involved in many groups and is a very hard worker. She would define an SCHS Indian as someone who can challenge our adversities. Instead of giving up and letting disadvantages overcome her, she will rise above them. Samara's overall ambition in life is to fulfill and honor God's plan for her life. She would love to make a difference in the women of color and female athletes. Some interesting facts about Samara is she is the youngest of three older brothers. She collects vinyls and she enjoys thrift shopping. She's also very talented in sports. She's gone to the state playoffs for softball for three years and soccer for one. And she was the first region champion for Stevens County Track and Field. She went on to play second at sectionals fifth at Stadium and Shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is contestant number 29, Miss Samara Grace Walker. All right, let's give all of these ladies a big round of applause. And just to make our judges job a little harder. We're going to bring all the girls back out onto the stage for one final look. So ladies, if you will come out in your formation. Young 
give them a round of applause and urge them. so that we can have you all standing together on stage in your new formation. We're going to go ahead and go um, into our intermission. Um, so we are going to take a 20 minute break for that and you're going to have some entertainment as well. One thing I do want to remind everybody is at the end of the pageant this year due to COVID-19 and social distancing, we cannot have anybody come onto the stage. If you're wanting to take pictures of your young ladies after the pageant on the stage, you can take them from there. We also have professional photographers taking some pictures. And then once we crown 